Good and hit. You got video going. Mm -hmm. All right, this is an insulator test. This is the insulator. I've got just plastic cap filled with disc, and this is a piece of trash. It's literally a soda, like from a Wendy's cup. The lid, super thin plastic, hadn't dried yet. This is some that I've already burnt, so let's measure that. Oops. And then I'll do a fresh one on there. So. Let's put your temperature gauge. Right, now I'm gonna... I'm also going to hit the wood around it so you'll see the wood. Right, now, give me some. Go ahead and hit the temperature. Five hundred degrees or so. Now let's. That's the char. Now I'm going to scrape this off and let's see how the wood looks underneath this. Check that. Look at that. 120. That's nothing. The wood's just barely even more. And this wood is, you know. So I think that will protect our metal. Um, you know, that's clearly effective. In fact, all right, so for this test. I think I will. Get a little iron. Oh, what is a good idea? I was saying the wood. See if the nut will burn the oh, wood. Yeah. yeah, it does. Instantly burns the wood, yet I can hold this in my fingers. So, I think that's a pretty successful test. Um, yeah, I'm going to knock that off. There we go. And this will last the funny the cool thing the more burn it gets the better the insulator it is so as you flame it the hotter the insulation increases because it's releasing more uh, co2 and oxygen out of there and that's how it's working it's creating an air seal and how do you plan to deal with the expansion um, well it will be much thinner than that and that should be the end of the expansion that's a good question let's see how much it'll expand just on its own Touching it and it's warm, but you know, I can pick that up. Underside, perfectly cool, untouched. So, okay, well, now let's test on a piece of plastic. Um, I'm just gonna hit it on one side because the plastic's sticking up, maybe it'll melt that. There's just a thin coating, so you just hit it in the dead center. You could, yeah. Well, I was kind of wanting to like melt. Well, let's see. let's just see what happens. Actually, before I do that, let me see how that does. That because my issue is I'm waiting on these to dry because I want it to be more solid. Pause. Okay, so overnight I've let these. Uh, this one I had pressed flat, rolled out essentially, and left it out, and it's become hard like a. Uh, like clay, like modeling clay. And then these samples. I kept got like five of these in the air so they'll stay. And do some tests in this state, which I think will be the optimal state actually versus our current setup. Okay. Okay, I've taken that hard compound um, and I've mashed it down to about a, I don't know, an eighth of an inch on a styrofoam cup, which is the most susceptible thing to flame that I can think of. You know, you just touch this with a blowtorch and it just disappears before your eyes. And I left, it's not a I might just put some more here on the edges, which will instantly erupt, but I kind of think it'd be a good contrast. So let's see what we got. And again, this is almost none, like that's how thin, 
would you say that is? An eighth of an inch? Eight? I don't know. Let's see what we got. About 30 seconds. Styrofoam cup lips. It's not deformed. Compound swelled to twice its size. So now we're from an eighth of an inch to about a quarter inch. But styrofoam cup, just a regular old piece of trash, Dairy Queen cup. Nothing fancy. How about that? Okay, for this next test, I'm going to soak our new insulation in diesel to simulate what happens. We've got a half a pipette of diesel. I'm soaking it down. And you may be wondering why this is because sometimes this happens in our pressure washers. The insulation will get soaked with diesel. In fact, I think uh, do a similar test with our current insulation. That's about the same amount in the pipette. See how long they burn. I think I'm going to set this outside actually. And um, this one has already gone out. And our current insulation is still burning. I'll, I got something I gotta do real fast and I'll be right back. Okay, we're back inside. As you saw earlier, this burnt out almost immediately because uh, the, even though it was the same amount of diesel, because it's less absorbent. Meanwhile, as this burnt, I bring it in. This was the fiberglass one. And you can see the plastic cap that was in after the diesel burn. And then after the diesel burn, the styrofoam cup, no problem. How about that? <laughs> 